oh, we just love that movie. When are you going to make Pretty Woman 2? If I go back to 90, it started the decade really nicely with Pretty Woman. And now to end the decade with all this great quality stuff in my life. That's a full 10 years. Breathe! I've been in Borneo, into the middle of the jungle. Natives painted in a dugout canoe come up and the first thing they say to me is, when are you gonna do Pretty Woman 2? This is a true story. I don't know what it was about that movie that uh, you know, I resonated like it did. I mean, it's a delightful story. You know, and I, I saw part of it recently, and, and uh, we were both so young, even myself, although I was probably 38, 39 when I made the movie. I looked like a kid. Lightning strikes, you don't know how it happens. And part of the problem, obviously, for all of us associated with that was, do you really want to beg for lightning to strike twice? I'm a grown-up person now, and when I made Pretty Woman, I think that was my fourth movie. The movie I'm working on now is my 24th movie. <laughs> Shocking, isn't it? I think it was kind of nice that it was 10 years I had to go by and uh, come upon a script. It was a really well-written script, good strong characters. It would stand on its own without begging that question. You got me fired, lady. You destroyed my reputation and you screwed up my hair. You chew up men, spit them out, and love it. I'd love to stay in chat, but I still have my job. <laughs> and I read it and laughed out loud. It really was kind of full-blown in there. It wasn't the kind of thing, well, how am I going to fix this? But I see it. Not only do I see it, I see Julia. And there's no one who could do this better than Julia. So I, I called her and I said, look, I can't think of a reason not to do this. And it's a great part for you. And she said, you know, this is, this is terrific. And I said, great, let's do it. And then we sat down and, and obviously Gary Marshall was uh, the right way to go. And, and Gary, I, frankly, I don't know if I would have done it without Gary. You know, my own safety level and security level with him is so high, you know, along with Julia, that that was the way to do it. We called Gary and said, please, no one else can helm this rickety ship. <laughs> please come help us. And he was nice enough to do it. But I was playing the straight guy last time, too. And part of it was that she had to loosen me up. And this one, you know, it's two street people essentially going at it toe to toe. And you're seeing kind of a heavyweight title match going on between these two very bright, very verbal, very quick people who have wells of emotion inside of them available and a kind of innate willingness to be happy in relationship, be intimate. And we are man and More clearly, I remember the first night that we were all in Baltimore, we were going to have dinner. Gary and I were in this restaurant, of course, waiting for Richard, which will be the next movie we do. It's going to be called Waiting for Richard. He just never shows up. Man has a romantic relationship with time. When Richard finally showed up, he sat down. We all looked at each other and just burst out laughing. You know, people in the restaurant thought we were mad. We just sat giggling like girls for ever. We went down all the memory lane paths and stuff and then went off to start our movie. I was sitting across from Julie on the table and Gary was over here and there was a lot of tension. And the tension was something we really hadn't faced, which was, do we really know how to do this? Was that totally a fluke, Pretty Woman, or do we have a handle on doing this kind of thing? And uh, I mean, Gary obviously does, but was this gonna work with Julian? Gary was nervous too, and he started making bad jokes, you know, to keep it light. And we started reading it, and immediately, when the scenes between she and I came in the script, it clicked right in. And we both had a little knowing smirk on our faces that we were we were there, we'd be fine. And, and it became joyous knowing that, that uh, we could run with this and be in control and, and feel sure enough that we could get really goofy with it, which we wanted to do, to be really goofy. You can feel it. You feel the banter and the rapport and that the timing kind of works. But I don't know what the reason is or the reasons, I don't know. I wouldn't want to know, because that would mess it up. You're the only one for me. Thirsty for more celeb news? Make sure you subscribe to the E! News YouTube channel so you can stay informed on all the breaking updates. Come on, you know you want to be the first to know about all the latest hookups, breakups, arrests, and so much more.